Hey everyone, welcome to this month's question of the month. Um, if you've got a question you want me to answer on video just like this, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and I'll do it for you. This month's question comes from Cheska. Uh, it says, Malasana, weird body proportions. Hi, I'm a yoga teacher and movement director for film and theater. I am tall with very long back, long femurs, and T-Rex short arms, uh, but I'm flexible, so that helps. Yes, jump throughs are impossible. Almost when I sit flat on the floor with a straight back, my hands don't come close to reaching it, but I can handstand. However, I can't squat. Malasana, my heels are just off the floor. I have spent years trying to get them down. I have super flexible hips. Is there something I can do to reach a yogi squat or is it a lost cause? You're the first yogi who has ever mentioned body proportions regarding ease of poses, etc. It's really refreshing, thank you. Um, all right, Cheska, well, um, interesting question. I'm not sure, however, that body proportions um, is going to be the cause of not being able to do malasana. As much as important as body proportions are in terms of, you know, <clears throat> particularly things like back bends look like. It shifts, you know, how the weight is. If you have T-Rex arms, you know, a and long legs and a long spine, all of your weight is going to be shifted onto your hands more. Everything's going to kind of shift that direction. The opposite would be true, of course. Long arms, long torso, short legs, things would kind of fall down towards the legs. But in terms of squatting, just doing a simple malasana, um, there's basically two possibilities. That, that I would, uh, this is at least where I would start, if nothing else. Um, one is you just have a tight Achilles tendon. Now, it sounds like you've worked on this for a long time. So <clears throat> it could be genetically tight and short. Could go with long femurs in this case, or long legs. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't seen you, so. Um, it could be tight. It could just be simply tight Achilles tendons. The other thing is the next layer in which is the joint shape and it is possible that the way your ankle is shaped the tibia comes down the talus is what it connects to and the way in which those uh, bones come together maybe they bump maybe they bump when you do dorsiflexion which is what happens when you uh, when you squat so those are the two most likely culprits. Um, and just based on what you wrote and how you wrote it and how many you say you spent years, it might just come down to bone shape at this point. And that's it. And, and in that, if it is that, then yes, it, it, it's sort of a lost cause. Okay, and I, I think this is generally true. This comes up um, in you know, things like Lotus and whatnot. Um, people who spend years doing prep work, doing, trying it, and it never really gets there or it looks comfortable or feels right, it may very well just be bone shape. All right, everyone, that was this month's question of the month. If you've got one you want me to answer, yoganatomy.com forward slash my question, I'll answer your question as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.